I cannot meet either of these two heroes because um, they both passed. But I have met a few of my other heroes. Um, I have not met this gentleman this entrepreneur but i got the uh <laughs> as a, as a, in an almost poetic fashion uh the todd mcfarlane um spawn two pack uh, i did get this from big bad toy store uh i ordered it the second it was available let's move it up here um i'm just surprised that it exists honestly so two legends right here of, of their time. I want to say Todd is probably a legend of his own time. Uh, only thing that could beat getting a figure of, of Todd is, is to get maybe a Jim Lee or a J. Scott Campbell. Those are my artistic, um, inspirations. Uh, I take inspiration from, from Jack Kirby as well. I love, like, say what you will about older art. No one can beat his blast effects, his, his Kirby crackles, no one could beat that. I, you could try. I mean, you could duplicate it, but but the way it works. And Todd kind of did the same thing with Spider-Man's uh, webs, um, spawns, chains. Todd did his own thing um, with with Mick. I mean, this is from McFarlane Toys. D did Stan Lee make his own toys of Spider-Man? No, this guy up here. Oop, this guy up here decided, screw you guys, I'm making my own. Uh, Okay, and then he did, and now he's got the DC license, which is super weird. Um, but I'm glad to have this added to the mix, and I believe uh, I'm going to be happy with it. The other thing I will say uh, would be cool is if, if they did make more of these like creator-style ones. I would love a Kevin Smith, uh, specifically the Smodco um, Kevin Smith, uh, where he's got the, what do you call it? the hockey jersey um but i'd take whatever i can get i'm sure they've had plenty of kevin smith figures but they're always animated style and i'm just not into that really this is as close as it gets just because this is the only way it's going to work this is a very meta figure um it's jack kirby but not jack kirby from eastman and laird i'd like eastman and laird too that'd be a cool uh cool one too to get for ninja turtles collection so hey neko uh, let's work on that how about that huh guys uh and then of course stanley you know the the brains behind the 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 art um there was another guy that i was looking why oh, i don't know my my brain anyway uh there's plenty of comic creators i don't think we're gonna get most of them getting three is weird uh so whatever Siegel Schuster, um, what's the other finger, Bob Kane, I mean, I'd even take Bob Kane, I don't care whatever people say about it, um, just having them's neat, uh, neat to have these, these figures of real people that, that created things that you love, um, I also mentioned on a live stream that it would be fun to have a Bob Kane Batman figure, and I'm surprised Todd has not done that yet, so let's talk about Todd, uh, this is the, the packaging for this figure, um, why they decided to go with a, um, this is kind of funny. Uh, this is the old style of the spawn figures. Uh, I do not miss this, this kind of packaging. I would like to be able to display this again. So we're going to have to do some surgery. Um, but I do want to be able to take them out. So it's like a, it's a double edged sword. Uh, I may actually sell this spawn but it's kind of grown on me in the last like three days. So, cause I got this three days ago and it's just been sitting here and I've been waiting for time to, to do this. This is amazing. Uh, I, this, all of this makes me want to get a, a hall H panel, um, created, uh, like a diorama and just have a bunch of people in the, in the, in the stands, like comic, uh, guys. Well, I might do it one day, but let's just, let's move on. <laughs> Uh, he does come with the feet for some reason. Um, I guess Todd McFarlane walks around in his bare feet at the, the place. Uh, I am going to probably uh, use those for lots of tomfoolery. Uh, we do have these there. Some spawn effects. Uh, the sketch of spawn. So this is the original sketch of spawn, I believe. He might be a different color than he was before, but um, 
the original spawn drawing was very strange and not really what people see. Yeah, there, there it is. So you can see what he looks like on, on the page there. Blue. Um, he's more of like a demon pirate kind of guy. Let's see what I could do to take this apart, though. 1977 original drawing. As I said, this is just amazing that this exists. I'm not even going to get angry about it anything else um let's see if i can i don't i don't think that's gonna be sharp enough let's get a new blade on this about 10 years ago i spilled a package of like a thousand um <laughs> uh exacto blades and i'm down to like the last like 10 and it's amazing to be finally down to that because i i had to just pick them up with a magnet so what i'm going to try to do is just score this there we go just enough And if it destroys it, it destroys it. I'm not, I'm not too, I just thought it would be neat to be able to display it later on. It is a little bit dicey here though. This thing sold out everywhere <coughs> that had it, so. I don't know if they're going to do a reprint or what. I'm going to be a little more irritated if they release the uh, either of these figures separately because if I don't want to keep this spawn, reselling it's going to be terrible if I if they do redo it. I've, I've, ow. I feel like they might do it, but in the uh, actual colors of the original um, drawing, if that's to be seen as the original. I'm not doing a great job here, guys, but uh, at least I didn't cut myself on that. I thought I did. You know what? Didn't I? I thought I bought a package opener. Take a look here, because I think I had one that was literally like meant to open packages and... I probably lost it. Who am I kidding? I do that all the time. Oh, hey, I got this thing, and then I lose it, and then I'll find it, like, in two weeks after I needed it. No. I know exactly what it looks like. It's a little blue hook. Thought I found it. It was a flea comb. <laughs> Which, if you, uh, if you need to clean up flocking, using a flea comb helps really well. So I can't find that damn thing. Um, so we're just going to use... I'm going to use one of these. I got a bunch of these from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to... I got one open right here. Cool. Because I really don't feel like cutting myself today. With an exacto knife. Oh, yeah, this is working better. <sighs> Pull it back. We got it. We are in. Um, so hey, I wasn't I was planning on just opening this and doing it, but then I saw how terrible this was. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna give it the old college try here. And I, it worked pretty well. He does come with these spawn uh things there. And a lot of people are like, who the heck looks spawning this year? I kinda still like I like spawn that it exists. Let's I've not read a comic in 20 years, but I still think it's cool that someone made their own damn comic company 
and did their own thing. And guess what? I would love to do that as well. Uh, so I could even be angry. Uh, but come on. So what I can be angry about is the fact that when they make these things, there's all this, this tape and come on. There's just way too much packaging in this. Like, we're getting spawn out first here. He's got a super thick cape. Ugh, barely makes it out of that. Everything is taped in instead of just pressure fit in, which is how I prefer it. Look at my fan. Um, oh, there's a hand. I think I've also very quickly hit a point where I don't care about the packaging already because this is exhausting to try to get this stuff out. I just want it out. All right. Let's try cutting this guy out. We're going to go from behind on Todd because spawn was a little bit too too close for comfort on some of these cuts. And let's be honest, this is the reason I bought it. It's for the Todd father. Um, Uncle Todd, as some call him. Yeah, I've officially hit a point where I don't care about this packaging, so it's going straight in the trash. I did all that for nothing, didn't I? Um, but now you know how to open it. I mean, without damaging anything, I suppose. So I'm gonna show you this. This is a prime example of why you shouldn't tape stuff like this. Um, okay. You can see here, there's a card that comes with it as well. And then in the back, a little, little blurb about how cool he is. Not collector-friendly packaging. If anything, this is collector violent packaging. Yeah, even this is sealed, so you can't even open and close that. Is this, if you want one of these in box and out of box, just buy two. No matter what you do, you gotta rip this stuff open. So let's get him on here. There's old spindly man himself. Right. Here's the card uh, back. You can see they covered it up with some stuff. That's super annoying. They put a bunch of warning labels on the card so you can't read it without... And we're just going to open it up because I really don't care about cards. I've, I know some people get real real horny over those cards. Like, look, it doesn't have a card. I don't care. Uh, it is a foil card with Tad's uh, face on there. 30 years of Spawn. He's the creator of Spawn. If he'll tell you that a couple times. And there's that if you want to read it. Uh, super exciting. Let's get get them moving. Get back in there. Get that out of here. There we go. Get a little, get a little closer here. Yeah. We've got Spawn right here. No weapons come with this. I don't think he had chains back then. Uh, so this is the original design of Spawn, which is close to the comic, I suppose. Uh, the the skull boots are a little weird, but aside from that. It's okay. This is where I was getting annoyed. 
they taped over a tampograph. I managed to get it all off there, but in 10 years, I don't know if that's going to be good. So it uh, looks like there's a smudge on this, so that's always awesome. Um, you can swap Spawn's hands out for this one, which probably will, because that's interesting looking. And then a punching hand, and then there's this uh, grabby hand. Hey, I dropped something on the floor. Take a drink, kids. Uh, or don't take, take a drink of water, I guess. Um <laughs> So, here's this, the the Todd feet, which hilariously have um, articulation. Why? Uh, probably going to leave this in there. This is his drawing hand. We do have a peace sign. Like, a lot of this stuff is really cool. Got a, another punch with a ring. And then an open open hand here. As well as a, a, a microphone. So, you don't get that in too many... Uh, Toy action figure. Trying to figure out where... Oh, I guess the hand that he has is probably the one that's going to hold it. I'm Uncle Todd. Uh, buy my toys. Buy Spawn. Buy it all. Uh, he does have a Comic-Con pass, which this is freaking awesome. <sighs> like, can you make an accessory pack, Todd, that just has, like weird shit like that in it um hit the spawn hat is on him likeness is okay uh i'd have to take a side-by-side -side look which i guess we could do here let's see what we got it's good enough i think not having the mouth open might have been a better better uh, option there uh, todd but it's good the eyebrows are a little thick we do just have regular head rotation here. Um, I don't know what body this is from, but they could reuse reuse this on like a million guys in suits. Todd, make a make a make a Kevin Smith for me. All right, uh, he does have the uh, diaper, which is appreciated. Uh, that is very uh, very appreciated. There, got a spawn shirt. I mean, this guy's going full spawn. Full bore spawn. That's the articulation. I've seen a lot of people post these uh, and say that the knees are weird, which that's pretty much just the McFarlane knee. Nothing to be crazy about there. And he does have the ankle rocker with a toe, uh, which is more than that. So they went with uh, the same thing that the hands have. So this is a smaller hand than this. The hand is smaller than this, but you can do the uh, the footed Todd uh, <laughs> here, which is kind of funny because I guess he runs around the office like this all the time, and this was like a joke. Who knows if it was truly a joke between um, him and the and the the people at the office, or if he he forcibly made them do this. Don't care. It's whatever. Um, look at that, huh? You can pop the hands off, of course, as I said. So let's pop this off and give him a drawing hand. You know, I guess he's left-handed. I didn't know that. That's weird. Because this is a left hand. Huh. All right, learn something new every day. Uh, so you can have him uh, holding both of those. We're going to give him a, a, a peace sign for his other one. Kind of funny. Hopefully these work on the other figures because I'd love to have a Superman with a peace sign. Um, man. And that would work. So do have a little bit of a thigh swivel here. Pretty, pretty standard uh, McFarlane um, action figure. Do, it does come with, um, I showed you the fist there, but all of his left hands. Aside, actually, it's weird. Oh, no, it does have it. I was going to say, it didn't have the uh, the ring on it. So his left hands do have his, his wedding ring on there. Uh, it does come with a pair of boots. Look at that. Let's take a look at this. See how this holds up. I'm assuming that this is supposed to go in here. 
there is nothing to hold it in. Like zero. Maybe you could use this one, but that would be weird. I think this is probably the appropriate one. So you're going to either have the blue tack or, um, actually just had a, a tiny, huh, whatever that went. Um, uh, or you get like a, a rubber band and attach it that way. Let's take a look at spawn. Person created by Todd McFallen. Uh, he does have the diaper as well. Probably the exact same articulation. Um, Let's see what we get. It is he is way heavier though. This cape is is ridiculous. I do love it though. Um, doesn't look like his head's meant to come off. I'm sure, with some heat you could do that. Todd McFarland toys are real weird. Some of them like they they are supposed to come apart, and other ones they don't. A little bit better articulation on the on this spawn. As I said, it's it's growing on me as it's been in the package. Like, pretty good. Boots. Let's see if we can do this. No, nope. I was hoping you could pop the boots off of here and put regular feet on, but it doesn't look like that's an easy thing to do. You might be able to with some, some heat. Don't know if I'm going to go that route yet. I'm going to do some reels and stuff with this, so it'll be it'll be fun. Pretty decent figure. Uh, kind of annoying that it doesn't come with uh, any weapons at all. So uh, we're going to have to pop open that um, weapons pack that I got from old Todd. And we're going to put some weapons in into Spawn's hands here. We're going to pop this on. To there. One of the things, too, that drives me nuts about Spawn figures, and it, this is kind of annoying... They make it so you can't use anything on anything else. Everything's always a different size. But what you can do, I think, is... Oh, no, that's even a different size, see? So, like, the, the foot size is bigger. This is bigger. They want to make it so that you have to use the, the accessories that they give you. And that leads me to not purchase a lot of these for customs. So, uh, if you look at the Motu Origins, I've per probably purchased three times the amount that I would have with a normal thing because I continue to buy them for customs because they all pop and swap pretty easily. Even the Marvel Legends, typically, with some heat, you can pop things apart and put them back together without having to do any uh, modifications. But for some reason, McFarlane Toys, every single hand seems to be a different size just so that you can't do that or a different depth or any of this stuff. Um I have quickly changed my mind on this. I do not like that hand. Um, <laughs> so we're just going to go with the ones that, uh, that hold hold weapons. And let's see what I can go grab out of the Todd McFallen um, weapons pack, which I think I have in here. There it is. <clears throat> I purposely bought this and kept it because I knew that eventually I would be using parts. Uh, I thought about piecing these out, and then I just changed my mind. So let's see some cool weapons we can get with uh, this. Like this one. I've got a weird custom that I'm working on for, for that. We're going to actually put that in this guy's hand right now so that I don't forget. If you can guess what, what character this is going to be. Congratulations. I may actually just 3D print the correct one out for that. Um, what weapon do I want to use? I want to use a big gun. A ridiculous big gun. Shit. All right. No, this one's not good enough. Let's go with this one. And I think this one probably. If you know who these go to, uh, leave a number down and even leave a comment down there. Let me know. Because I know some of them are specifically for specific characters, not just random guns, but we're just gonna put some some randoms in this spawn. Uh, one thing too that I've noticed with 
most of McFarlane toys is to get the uh, guns on. It's easier to just take the hands off and then do that. Not all of them you can do that with, but it's if it's possible, just because of how they, they go in, it's not easy. There we go. <coughs> Give it a little twist and pop that back on right there. All right, I'm probably keeping this. <laughs> it looks cool enough. Uh, it's a little weird because it doesn't look like the, the spawn that we all know and love 100%, but it it's good enough for me. This feels very much like a, a weird Batman. Um, uh, Batman, Spider-Man put together with some Doctor Strange. Uh, Spawn is just a mix of stuff. But it is nice to have all these weapons here uh, in case I do want to use some other ones. Is this? No, that's different. That looks more like an alien gun. Honey, hand me my alien gun. Uh, Cool. Well, I'm very happy with uh, what I've seen thus far. This is a long video. So I apologize for that, but it I, I it's two figures too, so it's not like I just did this and it was one one action figure. But I really really am happy with this this uh, this this guy. More weird stuff, Todd. And and hey, can we get um, like movie maniac characters, but with this kind of articulation? Because I don't really want to buy a statue. Um, I like being able to mess around with stuff and. Uh, Thus far, nothing has, has popped up but uh, that I'm like, oh, I got to have that no matter what. But you could easily get into, like, I need to have an action figure of that. So so there's Todd and his uh, his creation here. Pretty cool. Um, I... I'm very happy with with this um, this set. Thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please like, subscribe, comment. Until next time, I'm Alpha Magnus. These are toys.